School is in session. What's up guys and gals, Jared here with another back to school comedy of a movie review. So the latest comedy in theaters right now is none other than Night School starring Kevin Hart and Tiffany Haddish. Night School follows Teddy Walker, a successful salesman whose life takes an unexpected turn when he accidentally blows up his place of employment. Forced to attend night school to get his GED, Teddy soon finds himself dealing with a group of misfit students, his former high school nemesis, and a feisty teacher who doesn't think he's too bright. So is this star-studded comedy one of 2018's best? Let's find out. Now, before I get into my thoughts, let me know what you guys thought of Night School in the comments below. Are Kevin Hart and Tiffany Haddish the perfect comedy duo, and how does this compare to the other comedies this year? Now, let's get into some of the good things this film did. I would say that the overall cast was the shining light of Night School. The two leads, Kevin Hart and Tiffany Haddish, are at the forefront of this movie, and their chemistry and banter back and forth really works in this PG-13 comedy. Both of these actors slash actresses are hilarious comedians, so when they get on screen, things really heat up in the comedy realm. However, it's never enough to really make sparks fly. It sort of felt like the reins were never really taken off of these comedians to really let their improv skills shine. In addition to the two leads, the supporting cast of other GED students was the saving grace. These characters don't get much development, which is really a big shame, but they do give this kind of weird wackiness to these night school students. There's the idiot, the burnt out stay at home mom, the immigrant. Each one of these characters really has this kind of different backstory that really adds some humor into the film. However, like I said, they are the supporting cast, so unfortunately they have limited time on screen. Besides the comedic chops of this cast, the writing of this film really doesn't allow them to really stand out, perform, it just, it's rough, even for the leads. And it really made characters kind of stay on a joke or a gag for too long, or really taking jokes longer than they should have gone. Don't get me wrong, there definitely were laughs in night school, but it's a shame that there weren't more, especially since we have Hart and Haddish at the forefront. They have both proven that their comedic forces with uh, Haddish's girls strip from last year, a really great comedy, but I feel like the rating PG-13 really held some restraints on really how far they could have gone with some of their comedic lines. I'm not saying that a bunch of f**ks and would have made this movie that much better, but kind of move away from some of these awkwardly racist jokes and go back to just some quick back and forth between these two leads. Another thing that this movie just failed at was the editing. Oh, wait, but Jared, there was no big action scenes in this movie. How could it be the editing? No, 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 country boy. It was the editing of ADR or speech dubbing for some of the characters. If it happened once or twice, I would have forgiven it, but it happened enough that it was very much noticeable. And it felt like the fact that they weren't even they weren't even trying to hide or cover up the fact that these lines did not even match the character's mouth. <laughs> Lastly, just the plot of this film. It's this weird comedic twist on Hart's character having this learning disability that's funny, I guess. And then him getting over it, which is great. But also how teachers are great people and then him slowly falling for his teacher, but he's engaged to this other woman that's supposed to be his wife that he says that he loves. Yeah, the plot doesn't even matter in this one. Overall, Night School is this back-to-school comedy that unfortunately gets low marks for its comedy, with Hart and Haddish having some okay chemistry and the rest of the cast really being the standouts, but with some awful writing, some jokes being held way too long, some rough voice editing, and a plot that's really forgettable, I'd probably skip out on Night School. Hart and Haddish really failed in this one, and hopefully Summer School is not the sequel. <laughs> So what did you think of Night School? Did you have fun with this back-to-school comedy? Or would detention have been more enjoyable than this film? I want to hear about it in the comments below. As always, you can find me on the social medias at Jared Buckendall on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and Stardust. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to this channel. Again, there's plenty of movie reviews, trailer reactions, fun videos on my channel. Go and watch all of those. And until next time, I'll see you later.